Hello and welcome to this video. Thanks to a wide range of tutorials and instructions available online, it's very easy to build a small water rocket. But if you want to go further and want to build bigger rockets, things are getting a little bit more difficult. In the last couple years we gained a lot of experience in this area and with this video and the following instructions, we want to share those experiences with you. Let's begin with a very important part of the construction of a water rocket, the planning phase. From experience we've discovered, it's never good to overestimate your own capabilities. Constructing a 6 feet tall carbon reinforced multi-stage water rocket isn't a good idea straight after successfully launching your very first water rocket. To prevent disappointment, it's more reasonable to start small and then slowly increase the level of difficulty. In this video, we concentrate on the construction of water rockets consisting of multiple plastic bottle sections. The pressure vessels can later be reinforced with layers of fiberglass or carbon fiber. First of all, you should think about the size of the rocket you're planning to build. The size depends on the number of joints between the plastic bottle sections. So, if you want to build a very big water rocket, that means that you will have to deal with quite a lot of them. But watch out, every joint is a potential weak spot on the rocket. After you have chosen the size, it's time to create a good concept for your rocket. Here are some important points. Reducing weight optimizing flight characteristics and increasing reliability. But don't worry, all those points can be taken into account by following a very simple motto. Keep it simple. In the last few years we learned that there are two main methods to create very efficient and light pressure vessels. The first method is the construction of a single large vessel. The parachute system sits on top and ejects the parachute sideways or upwards. But there is another, very effective method. The pressure vessel consists of two differently sized segments which are joined with a small adapter. This helps to optimize the center of gravity of the rocket, which results in better flight characteristics. The two segment vessel is a bit larger and heavier than a single vessel, but it allows the use of radial parachute systems, which can be placed between the two segments. Furthermore, in case any of the segments is damaged, the segment can be replaced easily without rebuilding the whole rocket. So, the planning phase consists of deciding what rocket size and which construction method you want to use. The method of construction defines the type of parachute system you use, that's all? Well, it's not that easy. There's one part missing to complete the design of the rocket. The fins are essential to ensure a stable flight of the rocket. Of course, they should be as light as possible, so choose a material which is very light but durable at the same time, like coriflut, for example. The fins of the rocket shouldn't be too large, because that usually results in unintentional flight behavior. The typical shapes already used by many water rocketeers usually work quite well. We also recommend using only three instead of four fins on every rocket to save even more weight. However, the fins don't have to be planned before the construction phase because they are attached after nearly finalizing the rocket. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you're wondering how to continue with the construction of the rocket itself, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos by subscribing to our channel. We'll see you next time. Your Rocket Fuel Team